Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Terraria. I'm Tom, and today we're returning with Barley in Frothton. We got Marty here, just kind of hanging out. I think he has something to say to me, maybe? They say there's a person who will tell you how to survive this land. Oh wait, that's me. I think we already had this conversation, Marty. Now, if you watched the last episode, you'll remember I found the jungle cavern that led me down a considerable distance. It's over here. It's part of the mountain chain that we found earlier. There you go. You can see how it goes all the way down. And at the bottom, I saw something that was glowing. I couldn't quite get to it. So I decided to save that for this episode. So now we're back. And we're about to go exploring. Hopefully find some good treasure. I don't think that I have uh, enough to build armor. But let's see. Let's just see. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, I can make some I can make some tin. I can make a lot of tin. That is a lot of tin. And then I can make some iron. Ooh, I can make a lot of iron there. Is it an iron helmet? Do I have an iron helmet? Ooh, it's a tin helmet. So two defense. Oh, it's the same thing. Well, how about that? Well then you know what? I'm just gonna save the iron bars and the tin bars. Put them in here. Oh, you know what? There are a couple more iron bars. Let's see if I can have enough now. I really need to look up how much iron it takes to build iron armor. Oh, here we go. Iron greaves. Ten greaves. One defense. Two defense. We got the pants. We got the pants. Let's go drop off these resources. Drop the tin. Drop the almost depleted iron. I got to remember to figure out how to sell stuff too. <laughs> Let's, uh, we got the lens. We got bottles. Don't know what I need bottles for. Vine rope, tin ore, can of worms. I don't know if I want to open that just yet. Some rubies, definitely saving those. Gel, we need the gel. Oh, let's save the star. I don't know why those didn't stack. And I have ninja stars. 87 of them glow sticks Put them in here. Oh, we got a oh look at Marty Marty just shot an arrow at that slime. Oh, he missed that one. I Got him though Anyway, I think that should do it. I think that's all the the rare items I have Zombie banner, let's just dump that in there. I'm never gonna use that. Let's be real Let's be real. All right. Let's go explore that cave again. Let's go explore that cave. As I bounce off the first enemy I come across in the wild. <laughs> Day bloom seeds. I don't know what that is. Is there a sprint? No, there is no sprint. There's no sprint. There we go. Now I believe the jungle cave is... Yeah, it's a little ahead. I should probably just connect them. I'll probably do that eventually. That stone right there. That looks like stone. You know what? Let's connect them right now. Let's just connect it right now. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. That is iron too. So it was already worth it. So I got some pretty good tips in the comments of the last episode. And I'd like to thank the people who have been helping me out. As I've rediscovered this game, all the help that is provided is greatly appreciated. Because there's a lot to remember about this game. Which means there was a lot to forget. <laughs> of which I have. <laughs> there we go. Let's kind of zigzag it out a bit. One thing I did discover in the last episode that I think is notable is that the minerals that you find that you need for crafting, you find them pretty shallowly. Shallowly? Is that a word? We're going with it. You find them pretty shallowly in the ground. There we go. I should be able to make that jump, right? Yep. Look at that. 
Look at that. All right. Can I make some torches? Can, is that something I can just do out of my pocket? Sure is. Sure is. Let's get some more torches going. Because we're going to go explore. Let's try not to drown, though. These chests are all empty. We already looted them. We already pillaged them. Plundered them. Everything a good explorer does. We stole the loot. One of the uh, bits of advice that I got in the last episode was that ropes, you can just click them to extend them down. How about that? That is a game changer right there. That is a huge game changer. All right, I think the glowy thing was right down here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So we have a situation here. And that situation is, I don't want to drown. And there's a lot of water. And it's too deep for me to sink and then come back up. So what I think I'm going to do is build like a staircase so that I can kind of sink down, like straight down and then hop my way out. I think that's what I'm going to do, but it, it requires some torch placement that I don't know. There we go. Okay. That looks like that's all I'm going to be able to do. Is there, there's no real way to like, I have to jump every time. I can't just hold space bar to float. That's a little annoying, but I'll make it work. I'll make it work. Here we go. trying to do this carefully okay let's get back up there we go look at that yeah this will work just fine this will work just fine unless it's like a trap treasure that I just don't know about hmm, maybe I made it too <laughs> did I make it too like far out I think I'll be all right let's let's get some air going right here and then we're gonna go down 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 Anything here? I can't... I can't break this. Maybe I can't do it when it's underwater. Okay. So now, we have a new problem. And that's how to get all this water out of there. So I noticed that this is lower over here. So if I kind of funnel it off here. And then drain it. I might be, if I do it right, I might be able to drain it out into here. So with that, I'm going to need to get across and then come up. So let's do that right now. Let's go back and connect the passageways for the first time. I'll take a little bit of digging, but I have an iron pickaxe now so I can dig noticeably faster than I used to be able to, which is really nice. I wonder what's in that. I can't really tell. I want to say it's a treasure chest, but it looks kind of demonic. I forget what I think the the heart because I found a heart extra heart early on and I'm pretty sure it was just like it was a literal heart and it wasn't in a chest and I know there's like booby traps in this game because in an earlier episode I was triggering a uh, a trap that was shooting darts at me and I thought I was being attacked but I, I was really essentially attacking myself it wasn't one of my brightest moments. <laughs> oh, this is sand now. So I have to kind of be careful with this. Because it just collapses on itself. Oh, that could be really tricky though. If this is all sand, it'll just fall in. Well, I guess I can destroy it anyway. Okay, we're just about through the other side. Watch I go through all this tunneling, this whole process, and uh, 
I still won't be able to open it. That would be just my luck, right? Just my luck. Stick a torch on this wall. It's kind of tough because I'm to the point where I can't stick torches to the back wall for whatever reason. There's like brambles or something. I'm going to have a bunch of slimes right here waiting on me. They are excited to get this party started. Oh my god. Oh my god. There was way more there than I expected. There we go. It's like I was attacked by a fat rainbow. A chubby little rainbow. <laughs> okay, there we go. And we're in. Nice. Very good. Okay. So now I'm going to have to kind of... I'm going to have to go like straight across and then up. That's what I'm going to have to do here. I'm going to lose that torch, but... And I'm going to have to make a little alcove so that I can hop up in so I don't drown. Like I'll have to like seal myself off. If that makes sense. I'm picturing it in my mind and it, it seems safe in my mind. So we'll see. We're going to have to like literally... Oh, you know what? It could probably just float there. There we go. It'll float there. And I guess worst case, I can always just kind of dig this down too. As long as I don't hit sand. If I hit sand here in a minute, it could complicate the whole project. It's looking like I might hit sand. Stick that up there. Okay, so I don't know. Is this, is this water? How is that water? I don't know what just happened. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that scared me. So the sand violently collapses. Okay. Noted. Okay. Oh, I just did. I got a thing as I kill this slime. Bulldozer. Don't know what that does, but I got it. Okay, looks like the sand's kind of giving way to stone now, which is what I need. That'll keep me safe, I think. Okay, and we got more sand now. So that's definitely a little, it was a little block of water. There's a little block of water right on in here. Okay, I was ready for it that time. There we go. Stick a torch right on this side right here. I think we'll be able to do it. I think... I think it'll work. I think it'll work. I'm gonna have to kill that slime here in a second. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. There you go. No chance. No chance. Why'd you even try? Uh-oh. It looks like I found some water. This could be tricky. This could complicate things. Also, that gigantic booger slime. There we go. That's a lot of copper with that. Let's clear this sand out. This complicated. Oh wait, is this this is hollow? This is perfect. This is actually literally perfect. Because now, 
Okay, let's get this slime. Killing me, man. Killing me. Ooh, what is that? Oh, just more copper. Because now it's already low. It's like low for sure. So then I can definitely drain it. Let's get up a little higher here. Because I want to be above it all, right? So I don't, I don't drown myself. So this gap should be, it should be enough because the water will fall down here, in here, and then it'll gradually fill up this, and fill up this, and then fill up this. So I'll be fine here, I think. Unless I'm totally underestimating the amount of water that's here in like this area. Oh, you red slime, you got lucky. That was a lucky jump. All right. Stick a torch there. And if I make if I make the hole like the drain essentially lower than the the chest, then the water should drain down to the point as it flows in here and fills all this up. That's my theory. I'm no physicist, but I'm pretty sure that's how gravity works. This will be our first, uh, our big, uh, ooh, that's water right there. Oh, it's a goldfish. I wonder if I could have caught him in the bottle. Okay, I think this is the last block. So when I, when I get this, I'm just going to plug this right there like that. Okay, so the water should drain, come in here, fill all this up. I might just I might just carve this out. Yeah, I might just carve this out. Let's get rid of this hole right here. I'm gonna stick just for now, that'll go there. Let's make this a little deeper here. Basically, I'll hollow it out right up next to this other lake. Oh, you fat slime, you can't fit. Oh my god, hole in one. You got a hole in one. What are the odds? Okay, this should be... This should be more than enough, I think. Oh, that's, you know what? We're right here. Let's just get that iron. Because <laughs> we're never getting it back out again. There we go. Anything else nearby? Okay, doesn't look like it. All right. Operation. Get the treasure chest thing. Kicks off. Three, two, one. Okay. False start. Three, two, one. There we go. Run, 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 run. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. Okay. So it, it didn't drain that because of my staircase, but that's all right. Okay. I think it's, I think it's kind of leveled out. It's still flowing, but I'm pretty sure that's just the animation. So let's hollow this out. And then let's get up here. And then what we'll do is we'll knock this out. There we go. And then that should drain everything. There it goes, starting to fill up. Starting to fill up. Still got a bit more to go. Oh, there goes that torch. This, this might be kind of close. <laughs> That's a lot of water. Okay. Okay. So it's a good thing I didn't stay down there. But I'm going to bust out up here. 
Circle of life. Okay. We're still a bit off. So what can I do? What can I do here? I need some I need some light here. I could drill this. I could haul this out and then that would fill it up a little bit more. I mean we're talking like an inch here. I still can't get in there. Hmm. Okay, let's kill this slime. You jerk. There we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do... Where did this guy come from? We're gonna dig down a bit. I'm gonna make a, a little pocket. Just hollow this out. Make a little cavity. And then just drill in. And then it'll fill in this. That's what the plan is right now. So we're kind of going back. There we go. We're going back in here. Because the water just needs to go somewhere that's lower than right here, right? That's the plan. Why are there so many slimes all of a sudden? And I think I just found some tin. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> yes, we, oh man, a big vein of tin. Look at this, I would have never seen it if it wasn't for this uh, water redirection project. There's probably like an official engineering term for what I'm doing. Water routing? I don't know. I'm, I was an English major. So yes. So let's hollow out literally as much as we possibly can right here. That torch is going to be gone. Can I get it back? There we go. I got it back. Let's stick this torch up there so we get a little bit of light. And we are gonna... Is there gonna be room for me to... I just want to make a little platform so that I can jump out of there, you know? <laughs> when it starts filling up with water. I don't want to be in here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this should do it. There we go. There it goes. Oh, hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. So we're a little off. Why can't I jump out of the... We almost got it. We almost got it. There we go. Okay, that should do it, right? That should definitely do it. There we go. Where's all this water coming from? The heck? That was counterproductive. Let me take some of the water out from over here. Yeah, drain this down. Take it out from down here. There we go. We did it. We did it. Okay. Will it open for me when it's dry? What is this? It's not opening. You gotta be kidding me. Is it like a crafting thing? No, there's no crafting. What is that? You know, those look like eyeballs. Those little like flying eyeball things. Oh my god, look at the map. What have I done? I flooded this whole passageway down here now. Oh no. <laughs> what have I done? What is this? Somebody tell me in the comments what this is, please. I can't interact with it or anything. Usually I can kind of like break environmental objects. Like, what is... 
gel? I have no idea. I'm gonna need your help. Somebody tell me. What am I supposed to do with this thing? Okay, so that's kind of a dead end at this point. There's a little hollow area in here. And I think there might be some treasure. Looks like a pot maybe, but it's worth exploring just for the heck of it. There we go. Oh, it's just a bunch of, bunch of money. Looks like there might be some more stuff over here. I'm going to dig my way back up. I think that's what I'm going to do. Do a little bit of mineral reconnaissance. Maybe find some treasure because that it's intriguing, but it's not. I was really hoping for treasure, to be honest. And I didn't get any treasure, so I'm a little bummed. How am I doing on time? Okay, I got a few more minutes. I might wrap this up once I get back up there. We'll dig a little bit. We'll see what's what. I think that's sand above me. Yep, that is sand. So we're going to just have to... Do I have a shovel? Would it dig faster with a shovel? I don't know. I know it's not Minecraft, but... So much sand. I wonder if I'll be able to make glass with all this sand. This is going to be tricky. It's depending on how much sand is here. Because it's kind of like a straight up, right? I can't dig my way up with the sand. So I'm kind of making a gigantic cavern right now. What is this? Is this something I can get? That looks like something valuable. It just sounds like a horse running, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, clip clop. That definitely looks like... I can probably kind of make like a natural staircase here. To try to get whatever this is. This is... It looks like it's valuable. So I'm going to try to get to it. Make a big sand staircase here. Can I jump up there? Sure can. Drop a torch right here. Look at this. It's it's twinkling too. That's gotta definitely be something valuable. When a rock twinkles in a video game, that's how you know. That's how you know you hit the jackpot. Why is it making a different noise now? What is this? There's gold? There is literally gold. What the heck? There's literally just a piece of gold coming down the sand on me. Yeah, there's more gold. What's going on up there? Now I gotta get up there. Because I'm pretty sure gold doesn't occur in sand naturally. That just doesn't seem right. I'm raking in the gold. What is going on here? Wait, is this gold? Hardened sand. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought I just became rich. Well, this is kind of tricky. 
Because I, I want to get up to get this stuff, but it might have just been easier if I had just come up here and gone straight down. Whatever. We'll get there eventually. Hmm. I'm going to make a stone platform because I want to, I just want to see what this is. Tungsten. Interesting. Why did the music change? Oh god. Is there like a boss nearby or something? I think this is a good cliffhanger ending for today's episode. <laughs> Thank you so Oh my god, you got the guitar riffs. Oh jeez. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like the video. Please be sure to subscribe to see whatever the heck happens to me next. Tomorrow's episode. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. My keyboard. So I have the, the light up GeForce keyboard and mouse combo. And my keyboard and mouse are glowing red and gold right now. I don't know why. But we're about to find out in the next episode. <laughs> see you tomorrow.